What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And my Dodgers Nation questions of the day are, one, where do you rank Julio Urias in this rotation? Where do you rank him among the Dodgers five starters? And two, how do you feel about angry Kenley Jansen? Can angry Kenley Jansen get it done as the Dodgers closer. I want your takes down below in the comment section. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So today we've got some early season surprises, some early season standouts, and we're going to start with Kenley Jansen. The big surprise yesterday, Kenley Jansen hits 97 on the gun, the first time since 2018. He had a filthy cutter. Kenley Jansen looked like he went inside a time machine and went back into the year 2017 because he looked like vintage elite Kenley Jansen yesterday against the Seattle Mariners, and we're going to break it down. In comes an angry Kenley Jansen to close it out. And look at this 50, 95 mile per hour cutter by Kenley. This thing cuts so much I thought it was a DJ. Just straight sorcery by angry Kenley. And then he rears back and hits 97 on the gun. Don't adjust your screens. That's a 97 mile per hour fastball by Kenley Jansen. First time he's gotten it up to 97 since 2018. So California was just out there blowing people's minds yesterday. 97 on that two-seamer, that disgusting movement on that cutter. He was just mowing him down yesterday against the Mariners. And now the big question is, is this who we're getting? Are we going to get this version of Kenley Jansen for the rest of the way? Angry Kenley Jansen, is he for real? Is he sustainable? I was impressed with the fact that he used that slider to end the game yesterday. You saw him go to that two-seamer, a 95-mile-per-hour cutter for Kenley Jansen with all that movement. If this is who he is on rest, then this is a pitcher that's going to help this team all season long. And I think he took this thing personally. I think that angry Kenley Jansen is a total vibe. I think he's like Michael Jordan in the last dance where he's like, and I took that personally. He struck him out. How about a slider to finish? Dodgers won. Mariners nothing. And this is exactly the Kenley Jansen that you want to see. Pitching with confidence and conviction and attacking that strike zone. The velo is there. The movement is there. He's always induced soft contact at an elite level. It's just about optimizing Kenley Jansen, and this is how you do it. You don't pitch him on back-to-backs. You give him those clean innings. Just look at his numbers this year. The two runs he's given up this year are when he's pitching on shorter rest. With zero to one day's rest, he's gone two and a thirds innings, given up two runs, had three walks in those appearances. You saw the blown save against Oakland. And then against San Diego, the Dodgers didn't do him any favors defensively. Really should have got out of that one, but they bring him in the eighth inning, he gets Grisham to ground out, and then he walks Machado, gives up the single to Hosmer to allow the Padres to tie the game. But other than that, he's been getting it done. Outside of those two appearances, he's gone four and two thirds innings, giving up no runs, six punch outs to three walks. And it's simple right now. You got to give him his rest. You got to keep him fresh because we all know there's good Kenley and there's bad Kenley. And you usually get bad Kenley when he's pitching on shorter rest. So it's about optimizing him, setting him up for success. And Austin Barnes was talking after the game. He says that he usually can tell early on when he's on. You know, you, you have a sense of what's going on with the pitcher when they're when, it, when they're throwing the ball. And, uh, you know, the last three times I've caught Kenley, there's been a lot of conviction behind the throw. And, you know, he's, he's coming out hotter and he's coming out and he's, he's attacking hitters. Um, you know, he's not letting the little things get to him a little bit anymore. And, um, you know, if he gets behind, he comes right back at him. So, um, you know, it's not an easy job being a closer, but, um, you know, there's a lot on you. So, um, you know, I'm glad to see him doing so well. And I love his new demeanor, angry Kenley Jansen. He said a few weeks ago, enough is enough. He's the predator out there on the mound attacking hitters when he has this new demeanor. And look, if that's what you need to fuel you, then you do it. Look, the Dodgers Twitter pretty much bullied Kenley Jansen to being a competent closer once again. And if that's what fuels you, if that's what drives you to have success, then just keep playing it up. And then Austin Barnes, who's his own angry warrior, he talked about Kenley's new angry demeanor. Yeah, it's been a few years. It's been a couple of years. You know, I think... Throughout, there's been glimpses and you know, hot peaks and stuff. But um, this is this is good. You know, the, the way he's throwing the ball, he's got a little bit more clarity. I feel like in, on the mound, and uh, he knows what he wants to do. He wants to attack the guys with his mix. I feel like sometimes he, he would get a little bit clouded, and uh, you know, 
almost pitch, pitch selection almost. And uh, I think he's just, you know, they have to go hit him. So it's good. So keep it up, Kenley. I don't know what you discovered. I don't know if it's mechanically, if it's a release point thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just pure grit, but keep it up. I don't know if you went into that time machine with Doc Brown and went back to 2017 and brought back Elite Kenley. I've heard people out there saying, oh, he's hanging out with Trevor Bauer, so he's on that sticky stuff. Look, he is just a pitcher that when he's rested can contribute to this team in a big way, and you saw that yesterday. But let me know down below in the comment section, are you surprised by Kenley Jansen's velo, the movement on his cutter, do you think that he can regain elite status once again? Let me know down below in the comment section. And then Julio Urias. The Urias was mowing down M's yesterday up in Seattle. A career high, 11 punch outs, 17 big swings and misses yesterday for Julio. The only hit he gave up was an infield single to Hanniger in the third inning. Julio was putting up Julio's all game long. And after the game, Julio talked about how much he's improved, the adjustments he's made since the last time he pitched up in Seattle where he had his shortest outing of the season to go back up there have one of his best games of his career he talked about the adjustments he's made in the last year no simplemente este atacar los bateadores es lo que he venido haciendo tratar de confiar en mis en mi staff no yo sé que tengo buen staff y obviamente eh, eh, me puedo enfrentar a los mejores no con mi staff entonces es todo lo que lo que tengo que hacer confiar en ellos confiar en mis tres picheos tratar de tirarlo de tirarlos eh, con convicción y, y es lo que es lo que he estado viniendo haciendo después de esa salida Yeah, to attack, you know, after that start, you know, to have a lot of trust and confidence in my stuff. I know that I have really good stuff and, and to have confidence to attack the players, to attack the hitters and, and just trust that my stuff, my stuff plays. So for Julio, when he's commanding the strike zone, when he's attacking that zone, setting up that slurve, this guy is an elite dominant pitcher. Yesterday, 19 for 23 on first pitch strikes. This year, 81% first pitch strikes. That's first in all of Major League Baseball. He had hitters in 0-2 counts all day yesterday, and you're seeing him miss bats like never before. 13.9% swinging strike percentage. That's 13th in all of Major League Baseball, but it's all about commanding that strike zone. 77% of the pitches he's thrown this year have gone for strikes that's first in all of major league baseball so this guy is on the verge of elite territory if he can stay consistent julio urias is a frontline starter in all of major league baseball now as yesterday his best outing i still think last year's postseason even though some of his best appearances were coming out of the bullpen that was the best we've ever seen julio urias he actually had a nine punch out game against the tampa bay rays in the world series but yesterday he was outstanding and his manager dave roberts was very impressed This is, I mean, I know I've said it before as far as, you know, the best outing I've seen him at, at different times, but I, I just can't recall any better kind of from the first pitch to the last pitch. Efficiency, command of all three pitches, um, getting ahead of hitters. It was just, he had complete control of command today. Um, story was the breaking ball, um, going for strike, swing and miss. Uh, mixing in the fastball, the change up. So it, today was just a clinic on pitching. And another big reason for Julio's success is that slurve, that slider curve combination pitch. He went from that 12-6 curveball to that slurve pitch, and he's been dominating hitters with it. He's throwing it more than ever. He's trusting it. He knows it's nasty. He's got a little sidearm action there. Man, it is a filthy pitch. If you're a Dodger fan, you slurve to see it. Bruh. And after the game, Austin Barnes talked about Julio Arias' unique slurve. Yeah, they're just there's they're moving different. Like I, it's not a normal pitch um, to me. Uh, they don't. It's not. A, I haven't seen a curveball kind of like that. You know, it's coming out way on the side, and he's landing it really at a high rate. And it's, it's it does different things all the time. Sometimes it shoots this way, shoots down. So uh, it's a hard it's a hard pitch for them to get a uh, get their sights on. I feel like so, um, and it was working today. So I'm very excited to see Julio Urias continue to grow as a pitcher. Before the season started, I predicted he would make the all-star team. I hope that he does. I hope he continues to get better and better. You see, this guy is just lights out when he's on. But let me know down below in the comments, are you surprised to see the growth that Julio Urias has made in a year? Remember, a year ago, we were saying, oh, is he ever going to live up to this phenom status we had for him when he first came up? How do you guys feel right now about Julio Urias? Are you surprised with everything he's accomplished and his growth as a pitcher? And where do you rank him? 
among the Dodgers top five starters? Let me know down below in the comment section. And my name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all is Dodgers Nation merch, head over to GearUp.LA. Some of the best Dodger t-shirt designs in the game you're going to find right over there at GearUp.LA. For latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.